Okay, <laughs> uh, we're back from our commercial break. Uh, so now, uh, after that victory, Mar U.S. Marshals had a two games to one lead and a devastating loss for Killer Z's. And, um, you know, it's kind of hard to you, you lose games like that. It's, and in that heat, it was very tough to rebound. And it showed on the field because uh, U.S. Marshals came in um, and they just pounded the team. And, uh, you know, before you know it, it was 12-1. Uh, I, I walked in a little late to that game, and as I was walking in from the parking lot, I see Manzo walking out. Yeah. So I figured, okay, the game's over, and the other players are going to be following behind them, but everybody's still on the field. And Manzo's just screaming, I'm out of here, that's it, I had enough. So yeah. uh, why don't you let us know, I don't know, something's going on with Ike Deed, and he didn't get into the batter's box, and then Manzo's Man Well, you, you, you know, you've been a veteran in the YMSL. Yeah. There's... Uh, no matter how good an umpire there is, there's only so much you can take with the YMSL players. I mean, you know, yeah. some make it three weeks, some nine <laughs> weeks, some two years. At some point, there's a but break. <laughs> there's always they a snap. boiling Eventually point. Eventually, they will snap. And Mr. Manzo had it, and, right. and he just, you know, he had it the week before. It was building up. But this all year, all year it's been cake. building up with Manzo, yeah. by the way. Maybe. And he's the four time in a row reigning umpire yeah. of the year. Yeah, yeah, he should be maybe so That's in jeopardy this right? year. I don't know because yeah. he's walking off fields, ejecting, he ejected Leon Sakal one game. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, Yadid called me up after the game, and the only thing he told me was change my vote to Terry for uh, umpire. Wow. So he was, wow. uh, yeah, he threw out everybody. And, you know, but listen. To his credit, he was behind the plate. It was really hot. It was already 1.30, 2 o'clock, uh, you know, uh, and, and everybody was complaining in the 17-1 to one game. Right. So he was just, you know, he had his, uh, his boiling point at that point, and he, and he left, and, you know. But uh, I would like to mention Terry uh, stayed, worked by himself, uh, and did a, an incredible job uh, picking up the pieces by, you know, working alone in a tough yeah. league. So that game, they you know they scored a few runs after that. It was 17-6, the final score. But uh, you know that was uh, it was U.S. Marshals Day. There's no yeah. question about mm -hmm. it, and they deserve every uh, you know every ounce of credit to, to go to the next round. Mm -hmm. I think it was an old-fashioned uh, spanking over there. Errors, hits, homers, doubles, singles, and from what I understand, I think. Uh, after an error by one of the infielders, I think Yadid also walked off the field and yeah, didn't finish yeah. the game. He walked yeah. off, he was just laying down on the side, just staring at the sky, and Jason Sultan took over uh, the mound. So I, I couldn't tell what was going on in Africa with the translation yeah. and everything. I don't know yeah. if he was mad at his team or if he was just exhausted or what was yeah. going on, but, uh, right. but Yadid did not finish his year uh, for his team on, on the mound. So. But, but we would like to mention, which I mean, I know it was only one guy, uh, but it really changed the... Uh, the whole field. Sammy Cross uh, was not available this week, so uh, it actually, in, in essence, four guys were out of position due to that one uh, right. move. They had uh, Lisa Carrier playing um, short. short. They had Richie Braha at second, uh, who ended up with Alvi Dweck in the outfield, and I forgot who played short center. Labo. Uh, oh, Labo in short center. Yeah. So everybody was out of position because of that one guy. And I mean, it's funny, know. all year we were saying the question mark yeah. was Sammy Cross that short. Uh, yeah, and he actually answered the question. Now, when he's and missing, he the whole thing when the, the whole team was in disarray. Yeah, he was, right. uh, you know, moved four guys out of position. But uh, I don't think it would have made a difference, but just something to keep in mind. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to start looking at this classic World Series matchup uh, between uh, U.S. Marshals and Insane. Um, you know, Insane, as we mentioned, was in first place the whole year. So really no surprise by them being in the World Series. Uh, U.S. Marshals had all the talent in the world. Uh, Struggled a little bit in the beginning, and uh, you know there was uh, there was the issues off the field, uh, but really, um, you know they uh, they put it all together at the right time, and uh, you know they, they got to where they are. Yeah, I know they, they uh, swept the week before, you know uh, in their first round series. Yeah. Against Eddie Michon's team, and now they went uh, three out of four against IQD, so they're yeah. definitely on fire going into this uh, you know this World Series, and they're very confident. Well, they, they swept no that. Time yeah. bombs, no fighting, and they, they, they have a very business-like approach, a yeah. Yankee-like, uh, you know, dominant season, first place all year, sweeping through the playoffs. Uh, but this is definitely going to be their toughest opponent. I would be shocked if there was a sweep in this series with the way the Marshals are playing. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't think yeah. anybody sees that. I didn't think the Marshals would sweep you, did in, in the uh, in this last week, but now I'm a believer. The way these guys are playing. 
on both ends of the field. And you see Saban throwing strikes to home plate, the tags at the plate, and they're hitting the way they are. This this should be the uh, the biggest test yet for the Insane team. Yeah. Yeah, as uh, we should mention, actually, uh, during the regular season matchup, Insane did sweep them uh, in two very low-scoring games, 2 nothing and 4-3. So, really, those games could have gone either way. Right. Alley was, uh, like, one for six, I believe, in that series during the, uh, during yeah, the season. No, Alley was one of the only, I think only two or three guys on their team, on the Marshals, had two hits. Yeah. Nobody had more than two hits right. in two games. I think Saban went two for four with two walks. And that's it. Alley went one for six. A bunch of the hitters went one for something. Yeah, I think they're gonna have to score more runs than that to get a win. Well, definitely. For sure. You know, I don't know how much a good score for Stevie Azer was coming in early from the Hamptons, but they're gonna have to put up uh, some runs there. Yeah. Well, it is July fourth. Uh, the reports are he's coming in early that morning. A ton of traffic that maybe day. Maybe helicopter. So maybe they maybe, fly him in. Or something. Maybe we'll see. Yeah. Um, um, the Red actually made a good point. If he's on the road for three hours. Comes right to pitch, he's going to be a little stiff and he's right. be able to. So it's, you know, Red would know about driving long yeah. distances. Um, but uh, we also should mention that uh, there was a trade between these two teams after Week One, yes, which really put a could possibly have put both teams in the World Series. And uh, wasn't you know wasn't much hoopla at the time, but it was uh, Jaime Shama who played shortstop Week One and he was not very effective for uh, the Marshals. Uh, was traded uh, to Insane for David Azer, who really had no position on that team. Mm -hmm. it was more of a backup pitcher, a backup, you know, a second, whatever the case may be. Uh, both, uh, you know, you like to see trades uh, benefit both teams, and that trade certainly uh, made both teams so much stronger. It was yeah. the complete opposite of Douglas's trade yes. that benefited yes. neither team. <laughs> <laughs> well, it benefited they the situation, saying. they knock you out. Yeah, no, that well, was the, that was the we don't want to waste more air time on that, right, on that right. insignificant trade that resulted in nothing. It's good to see a trade, like you said, yes. that works out for both clubs. Really? Uh, you know, Jaime's a big part of that team. Jaime and a huge part second of that base. Team. And Aza solidified the defense at short, and uh, you know that. Uh, and, and what it did, it also opened up a spot for uh, for Jason Marshall, who's been playing excellent second base, uh, but also uh, cost uh, your good buddy Dash a position. In, yes, uh, Dash not only lost his job here on the program yes. here in the network, but he also lost his job at second base, and he's got getting thrown around all over the place. First base a little bit, short center a little bit, and catcher a little bit. Yeah. And then when yeah. then DH most of the time, then when he gets on base, he gets pinch ran for, yeah. which I know was an issue this past week. He claimed that he was faster than the guy they were putting into pinch run for him. Yeah. So uh, Dash is not a happy camper, but Dash, you're in the World Series now, so you're not on the show still. Yeah. yeah. You're in the so World let's see if he could be a team player for the next three to five games. Uh, you know, I actually did see him at Spellbinders buying a beach chair and, <laughs> for the game, so he he doesn't anticipate too much playing time uh, once again this week. But, uh, you know, as usual, Dash is a team player and complaining about his playing time. So, um, you know, that's the least of their problems with that team. Uh, so now we're going to get into the uh, position by position, which I think is, uh, is really intriguing. And we'll start off with um, the catching position. And here you have uh, both teams have uh, uh, two catchers. Uh, for Insane, it's Chucky Batty and A.B. Salem. Uh, each catch a game, and then you have Erwin Cohen and Dash uh, for um, for uh, U.S. Marshals. And uh, right off the bat, I mean, you know, listen, it's you look at it. Both teams are very, uh, both have a, you know, uh, Chucky very experienced, and uh, you know, so I, I don't know. How do you see those? Uh, Chucky, that, that Ch matchup? Chucky got a big hit off of us to win a game. So he, like you said, he has a lot of experience. <clears throat> Uh, Irwin's got a lot of speed, and Dash is a pretty good hitter. So, you know, I like the actually the uh, U.S. Marshals combination just because of the speed, and uh, you know, and I think they can hit the ball as a pair better than uh, Chucky and Avi. This is a very tough matchup to choose. Tell you the truth, I think those are both good catching tandems, um, but I'm going to lean with the in, uh, with the U.S. Marshals because Irwin Cohen can hit. He comes up with these doubles. He's fast, and he has that play at the plate that we saw on the video. All right, we'll continue this right after commercial break.